From being a near five-star recruit as a sophomore in high school to facing open-heart surgery and not knowing if he'd ever get to play basketball again, on top of trying to fill the shoes of his father, who just so happens to be one of the 10 greatest players ever, the Sharif O'Neal story is crazy. But the biggest story remains to be told. Is he NBA bound even after some major setbacks? In a breath of fresh air for Sharif O'Neal, he recently inked a six-figure contract to play in the NBA G League after he was signed to the Los Angeles Lakers Summer League team. Sharif reacted to his new deal on Twitter saying, Vegas, let's do it. Thank you, Ignite. Even though he got a nice deal to play in the G League, you can't help but to think of what was at stake for this still 22-year-old. And when we hear things like teams were impressed with his athleticism and pedigree throughout his workouts, it makes us wonder how one moment in his life lessened his trajectory of becoming a potential NBA superstar, much like another O'Neal that we know. So let's flash back to 2015 when Sharif was a freshman in high school. Sharif played high school ball at Windward School in LA before transferring to Crossroads School in Santa Monica. Even as a backup forward on his freshman season, Sharif flashed impeccable touch, quickness for his lengthy frame and athleticism that slowly began capturing the eyes of the internet. Come just his sophomore season, he already received multiple offers to play D1 basketball from schools like USC, Baylor, and Kansas State. Sharif only continued to build his quickly emerging five-star reputation in his junior and senior seasons. At the close of his senior year, he committed to UCLA as the school he hoped he would leave as an NBA lottery pick. Things looked promising for Sharif as speculation mounted on if he'd become the next one-and-done player to enter the league. Until shocking news overtook Sharif's playing career and an opportunity to even play basketball ever again. In December 2018, Sharif, Shaq, and the rest of the O'Neills discovered that Sharif had a rare heart condition that would require him to undergo open heart surgery. Sharif's diagnosis was labeled as anomalous coronary artery, which is a wild condition that comes as a result of an artery that grows in the wrong place. The news absolutely devastated Sharif and his family. His mom even said later that Sharif could have died from it. Yes, died. Sharif went from hoping to enter the 2019 NBA draft a year later to literally not knowing what would happen next in his life. Thankfully for Sharif, his open heart surgery was a success but it didn't come without a few setbacks of its own. First of all, this is a type of surgery that many people decline to undergo because of the enormous number of side effects and how it can force you to rekindle your entire life. Sharif lost 25 pounds during his post-surgery phase and even said he had to relearn how to walk. And of course, Sharif was forced to redshirt his freshman season at UCLA in order to fully recover from his surgery and get back to reasserting his talent. Sharif made his collegiate debut to the start of the 2019-2020 season, and though he didn't quite look like the Sharif of old, you could certainly forgive all the rust considering what he went through and fearlessly overcame in just one calendar year. After just one season at UCLA, Sharif transferred to the former stopping grounds of his legendary father Shaq when he took his talents to LSU in 2020 and where he would play the rest of his college ball. In his three years in college, Sharif never started a single game and didn't play a full season. He absolutely showed glimpses of some of the special play he displayed when he was in high school, but clearly going through what he went through took a large toll on the potentially incredible trajectory of his emerging career. Earlier this year, Sharif declared for the NBA draft, which in itself reflects Sharif's special dedication and willingness to become the great player he can still become. He went undrafted in the 2022 NBA draft, but that didn't stop Sharif reaching the ultimate goal and putting a seal on his NBA hopes. The Lakers gave him an opportunity to showcase himself in the 2022 NBA Summer League, where he averaged just under 5 points in 10 minutes of action per the 6 games that he played. In the sneak peek we got of him in those games, he showcased his burst, his quickness, his athleticism, his ability to draw contact at the rim. I guess he gets a thing or two from Shaq, right? And while he hasn't gotten the call from any NBA GM, landing a six-figure contract to play in the NBA G League is not anything to sneeze at either. What truly caught the eyes of the scouts when Sharif was only in high school was his quickness and speed, and his now nearly seven feet tall frame, and his ability to shoot the ball. That kind of package is rare, even for players in the NBA today. 
So why didn't any team take a chance on the incredibly potent Sharif during this year's NBA draft? Obviously, we all love a good story and a happy ending, but at least for the time being, Sharif will need to prove himself at the next level a bit more before any NBA GM finds high NBA potential in the emerging Sharif. In three seasons at the collegiate level, Sharif only played in 37 total games and played around 11 minutes per game. Now, while much of that is attributed to his steady recovery from open heart surgery, it unfortunately didn't give Sharif enough time to produce. That's kind of where Sharif and Shaq parted ways on this entire ordeal. Shaq reportedly didn't want Sharif to enter the NBA draft this year. Sharif said, you know, he didn't want me to do this. He wanted me to stay in school. We're both grown. We'll get past it. <laughs> I guess Shaq got the feeling that his son hadn't received the opportunity to showcase himself enough to earn a spot on an NBA roster, which he turned out to be correct because Sharif went undrafted. But Sharif remains empowered to get to where he feels he can ultimately reach. When asked about if he felt any kind of pressure being the son of arguably the most dominant force in NBA history, the even-keeled Sharif said that... Now, I went through some things that, you know, he didn't go through. And I had to go through some stuff these past four years, foot injuries, heart surgeries, and you know, I don't, I don't really look to be in his shadow. Being the son of any great athlete is tough business, but for the 22-year-old Sharif, he remarkably still isn't phased by some of the riveting recent times in his life that put not only his playing career in jeopardy, but his life as a whole. Now, we are all rooting for Sharif and anticipate him to be dominating in the G League before he's hopefully called up to the NBA. At the end of the day, this is a 6'10", 220-pound forward that moves like a guard, can defend, can shoot, and has the burning passion for the game still brewing inside of him. While it's still unclear where Sharif will ultimately end up on his ongoing pursuit of the pros, what he's managed to pull off thus far is a testament to just how brilliant this young man really is. And we are proud of you, Sharif. Any other athlete that faced what Sharif faced as a rising basketball star would have given up on their NBA journey. But for Sharif, it's true that some recent trying times have sold his emerging career somewhat short at the forefront. But what remains to be written in Sharif's story still lies ahead of what promises to one day become an all-time legacy for the next great O'Neal in line.